There's a lot to like about the latest generation of LED light bulbs. Obviously, they uh, fit into any standard socket and they're about the same size as the old inc incandescents. So all of your lampshades will fit and uh, look nice. Uh, the cost is way down. I got this at Walmart. This is a 100 watt equivalent and it was only $5. Uh, they're very high efficiency, which means they uh, not only use less electricity, but they throw less heat into the room. We have a living room with several 100-watt uh, fixtures, and when they're all turned on with the in old incandescents, the room would get uncomfortably hot surprisingly fast. With these, we can let them run all day and no problems. The uh, plastic is a real bonus because unlike the thin glass of the old incandescents or even the tubes of... Uh, uh, fluorescent bulbs, they don't break, and, and this is pretty tough. That's nice. Also, there are no filaments inside that can uh, be broken in rough handling. Uh, so, uh, all that's fine, and I use them, and uh, I like them, but I was wondering, what's inside? What do they look like inside? So, I cut the top off of one, and that turned out to be a surprisingly difficult task because the plastic is quite tough, and it's much thicker than I uh, thought it would be. But anyways, here's what I found. The LEDs are these yellow rings, yellow squares, and that's what gives off the light. Now I had expected uh, that when uh, this was fired up, I'd see some reds and some uh, blues and you know all the primary colors which would mix together to make white. But actually each one of these is a white light emitter. So uh, that's pretty interesting, but uh, let's see how the uh, uh, illumination pattern changes with and without the uh, diffuser. All right, here's what the beam spread looks like with the globe diffuser on, and it's fairly uniform. Uh, it, the, uh, the bulb is about 18 inches away from the backdrop. Now I'll take the diffuser off. And you can see it turns into almost a spotlight. This actually could have good application if someone wanted to get into artificial lighting for an indoor uh, greenhouse, for example, if, if you wanted to grow vegetables or something during um, winter. Uh, because the packing factor, that is the number of bulbs you can, you can put up next to each other, is much greater than you can do with fluorescence. And it seems like the brightness is much greater too. They're more efficient and they run much cooler, so uh, this might be an option for you. Anyways, I hope you found this video interesting, and as always, thank you for watching.